the approach to diagnosis of chronic GVHD is one, two, three. First is the clinical diagnosis. You see the patient, you recognize what we call a typical NIH diagnostic criteria. For example, sclerotic skin or lichenoid changes in oral mucosa. No fancy tests most of the time. And then we say, okay, this is chronic graft versus host disease. Then we say, well, could it be uh, something uh, uh, else? First of all, we, we have to say, okay, this is not acute graft versus host disease. There are certain typical signs of acute graft versus host disease. They are easily recognizable. Bone marrow transplant practitioners know how to recognize. They say, okay, it's not acute. And then we want to make sure that we are not mistaken we're not going to treat patients with systemic corticosteroids, for example, if they have a skin infection, or if they have skin cancer, or they have some drug reaction. So we have to rule out other entities. After this one, two, three, uh, first approach actually to say, this is chronic graft versus host disease, then we do staging and scoring of the disease. We look at the eight key organs. Uh, that are usually affected with graft versus, chronic graft versus host disease. It's eyes, mouth, skin, liver, gastrointestinal tract, uh, genital tract, some others. And based on the severity of symptoms and functional disability, we give scores zero to three. The three is most severe and most disabling. And then once each score is uh, uh, obtained for each organ, we use this 2014 NIH uh, scoring criteria and based on those uh, scores that it takes three minutes in the clinic to, to check these boxes, uh, you devise something that's a global score. Could be mild, moderate and severe. The purpose of scoring is like in cancer. You, know, you want to know about disease extent, you want to know about disease severity, you want to know about disease prognosis, you want this to help you uh, with your therapy planning, and you want this to help you with uh, enrollment and defining criteria for clinical trials. Once diagnosis and scoring is completed, then we have to decide how and if we're gonna treat the patient. Mild scores of chronic graft versus host disease require no or just some topical treatments. So it means some corticosteroid creams or eye drops or uh, uh, physical medicine, rehabilitation, uh, estrogen creams or something. Uh, when it's more than mild, so any moderate or severe uh, global score of uh, chronic graft versus host disease requires systemic therapy. The frontline systemic therapy for chronic graft versus host disease is corticosteroids. Usually starting dose is uh, one milligram per kilo of prednisone per day. And then after one or two weeks, you gradually taper this uh, to approximately half of the dose on the every other day. And you stay there as long as patient is uh, uh, having some benefits. So it usually takes several months. And we say for corticosteroids, they're our best friends. They're very effective. They're our worst enemies. They have a long list of uh, undesirable uh, uh, side effects uh, like uh, steroid induced diabetes, uh, insomnia, steroid my myopathy. Patients don't like it, doctors, doctors don't like it, but this is a current standard. There are some new treatments coming that we're trying to get away from steroids, but this is still uh, years down the road and we are working on this.